this is Linda. So I am going to be um, painting this poppy over here. No, it's not a poppy. It's a pansy. And this is funny because I, I love to put words uh, explaining my drawings. And on this one, I actually wrote poppy. And then I realized that it wasn't a poppy, that these are poppies. <laughs> so I, in my sketchbook, wrote poppy with an arrow pointing backwards. Oh, well, um, it's just a sketchbook, you know? So here is the, the pansy that I am going to teach you today. Enjoy. So this is the outline of the pansy. Um, it's really a very simple flower to draw. This isn't the exact reference picture that I used for this painting, so I threw another one up there that is a little bit more uh, the correct shape. I'm starting off by wetting the area that I'm going to paint pretty much um, clear water, but there was a little bit of purple in there because I mixed up some purple. So I'm, I just wet that uh, petal and now I'm going and doing the same thing in some other areas. Now, after I wet the petal, I'm kind of just looking at my reference and starting in the pulling the paint from the center out because that's the way it is in the, excuse my cat, <laughs> that's the way it is in, you know, for the flower. And I'm adding darker colors and sometimes I use my brush to pull up color as well. If the brush is wet, it's easy to pull the color back up. The areas that are white on the flower or lighter, really, really pale lavender, right now I'm leaving white. And the color will slowly sleep into those areas, but um, I'm just leaving those for now. I added a little blue to the purple to darken it or make it a more rich purple and then put that in the center. While that dries, I'm going to go and work on some other petals and then I will definitely go back and rework that petal after it, it dries. So this is a method called glazing. Um, and I use it a lot because watercolor is so faint when it, you know, it, it really dries pale and it's fun to go back and add more color on top of the color that you had before and you can build um, an interesting uh, you know an interesting painting this way you just have to be really careful that you don't paint over light areas and expect you don't expect to take light paint and put it over dark areas that doesn't work with watercolor something like that works better with gouache or acrylic so I kind of always, you know, look at that where I'm going to be putting the darker paint and building up more darks.
I'm using the same dark purple to create the veins of the petal coming up from the center. Again, because the petal is dry, it's showing up more. Uh, the paint isn't blending in. So that's really pulling up those, um, I guess you call them veins or whatever, that those, those darker lines coming up from the center of the flower. So I've changed the reference picture to a different pansy just to show you all the possibilities. I'm kind of creating my own pansy based on a bunch of different references because the fun thing about pansies is they come in so many different colors and so many different patterns that you really can't get it wrong. Uh, I decided to leave a white space around the darker part in the center. So I mixed some more blue with the purple to uh, do that center dark part, just to give it a little more, a little different color. And I'm leaving the space where the yellow is going to go. And now I'm just doing the same thing. I'm pulling from the center into the white area, uh, the moat there, whatever you want to call it and uh, just doing lines of blue. It's really, really simple, actually. I'm not really looking at uh, the references for the shapes. I'm just kind of making them, uh, you know, fairly random. So for my background, I'm just making uh, some kind of random leaf shapes and adding different shades of green. Yeah. 
So me and my cat, Maddie, would love it if you subscribed and liked um, the video. Subscribe to my channel, click that little bell so that you're notified. I'm trying to post uh, once a week now and um, you should check out my new videos on my traveling painting because I bought myself a van and now I am traveling and painting on the road. Check it out at my channel. Thanks for watching.